Hey guys, we're going to make an elote with the Chipotle I.O. The first step is to preheat your oven at 550 degrees or broil. Then we're going to take some onions, green onions, and put it in our oven once it's preheated. Then we're going to char it until it's black, just like this. And we're going to take these onions and we're going to put them into the food processor. You know, why are we using black onions for this recipe? So, for us who don't have access to the grill, or who's too lazy to use the grill, charred onion provides a smoky and oniony flavor that you, it doesn't, you can't tell the difference when you eat this dish that it's, it's been cooked inside or it has been cooked outside. And I've seen the charred onions used in like rubs, like barbecue rubs. I've seen it being dashed on like creamy pastas like Alfredo. And so we're going to reserve, use half of this for the sauce and we're going to use the rest to garnish for the dish. Next, we're going to take some chipotle peppers, just one pepper. And the sauce, uh, I would suggest you only using one pepper because you, you adding more peppers will be really spicy. And some Kewpie mayonnaise or Japanese mayonnaise. You can use regular mayonnaise, but the best thing about Kewpie, it has a secret ingredient. MSG. Next, we're going to add some lemon juice. Some fish sauce, which adds some umami flavor to it. And I also, uh, off camera, added some uh, oil and sugar to give it some more balance to the flavors out. Next, we're gonna brush the corn with oil. You can use butter, but I was trying to be more health conscious and use the oil. And make sure your, your pan is hot. And if you don't have a pan like this, just use a regular pan and you'll be fine. But ideally, you obviously will want to use a charcoal grill. So make sure you, you get a nice color on them, get a little bit of brown. So you probably do two or three sides and it should look like this. Probably 10 to uh, 15 minutes. And watch me struggle, you fail to and put it on plate. Next, we're gonna go cut the corn. So what we're gonna do is put a bowl on top of a metal bowl, so it makes it easier for us to cut the corn. And make sure that we have a, a wet paper or we'll have a wet napkin under to give us a stable base so the bowl doesn't move around. And so this is how we're going to cut the corn. And after this, all we have left is to plate. And so what we need to do is now is put some of the sauce on top of our dish. Now it's up to you how much sauce you want on the dish. Things also ingredients that you might add not add is maybe some fried garlic or fried onions but here I'm using some fresh onions, some green onions. Put some cilantro on top. Put some um, cheese, cojillo cheese. But if you don't have that, just regular parmesan will work. And I forgot to, uh, to put some tahini, but definitely you need to put some tahini in the recipe. And that's it. And so if you guys have any questions, you could leave a comment down below. 
and the recipe will be down on the link.